And ladies and gentlemen, here I am driving into the Lombardi Luxury Estate. This is an estate that is one of a kind and has so much to offer. One of them being the first mosque that is ever going to be built in an estate at this node. Another huge, huge selling point is that if you decide to purchase within the Lombardi and through the realtor, the estate agency responsible for this home, you will have a well donated in your name in Sri Lanka that you can visit for the opening ceremony. But I'm sure by now you must be very, very excited to know what home we're going to be talking about that gets you a well, that gets you to be part of history with the first mosque ever to be built in this node. And that home is right over there where you see that green shrubbery. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Chad Riveros. This is the Home Shopper Show and I've got one thing to say to you and that's welcome home. And here we are coming through the front door. We can now take a tour around this incredible home. Three bedrooms, three and a half bathrooms, penthouse suite, one of only three located in the Lombardi Broadacres. There's so much to show you here. It is such a cool, eloquent, and really luxurious home. But I am here in the entrance hall. We've got beautiful down lighting, obviously bulkhead ceilings. That is always the number one luxurious touch when it does come to looking up. But we'll need to talk first about this half bathroom, the guest bathroom located right here in the entry hall. Let's take a look at it. Now, the guest bathroom is very well equipped for what it is. You've got a massive single vanity, two mirrors side by side with plenty of under counter storage, stunning gray marble countertops, gloss on the storage compartments, floating toilet located in the corner. You've got your hidden cistern and then two frosted glass hinged windows located outside. So now that we've covered that half bathroom, here we are within the living areas and you can see the space this penthouse apartment has. It is ginormous, specifically for the price. Now, a couple of really, really cool features and all of them relate to decor. One, we've got these stunning marble-faced tiles below us. Really, really glossy. You can see the lights reflecting off of the tiles. Love it, makes it feel so luxurious. Another really luxurious touch is this feature wall here that also has this marble finish all above it. Again, bulkhead ceilings, but this is your TV center, your, your sitting room, your sitting area. Really nice, spacious TV mounted on the wall, all the necessary plug points behind you. Then we've got this stunning wallpaper right over here, textured, really nice. And a lot of you will notice that these sliding doors behind me are tinted for UV as well as light. How nice and buttery smooth did that close. So it's not gonna let in too much light, it's not gonna make the place get too hot. But if you do want the place to be warmed, this whole house has got underfloor heating throughout. So on those winter, chilly winter nights, you know you're completely sorted. So you know you're warm, you've got sliding doors, you've got really cool tiles, what's next? Well, you need a dining room area. You need a place to sit down, relax, and eat with your friends and your family. And as you can see right here, provided by none other than Leiden Cafe. You can find these guys on Instagram, Leiden underscore cafe. They provided the catering for this home. So you guys can see what it'd feel like to sit here and enjoy a meal with your friends. And what this cafe does better than any other is they create meals that suit the occasion. You see the beautiful floral arrangement. I love just that touch of home this kind of catering brings.
Behind me, another sliding door leading you out onto a massive balcony that spans the length of this whole living area. But let's talk a little bit more about this living area. Again, a continuation of that design choice, this beautiful, beautiful wallpaper behind me, keeping that marble theme. We've got this eight-seater dining room table sitting here with quite a lot of space. But between the dining room and the kitchen, you can see you can move through it so easy. Right here on my left-hand side is a scullery area. And let's talk about the scullery area. A really cool feature is this right here. We've got a gas burner located in the scullery area. If the power goes out, no problems. You've got gas to service your needs, cook yourself a dinner, warm up some coffee, some tea, it's done. Space for another fridge here. I'll show you the normal fridge in a moment. And then in the corner, other than the under counter storage for your appliances, you've got your double sink blacked out, a beautiful faucets above it. And then above that, you've got more of that glossy white cupboards that run the length of the apartment. You'll see it in the bedrooms as well as here. And all of them are push to open. Nice soft open and close. Just press a button and it's done. But here it is, we are in the main kitchen area. Now the towel we saw in the bathroom has continued here, beautiful grey countertops underneath, plenty of under counter storage as you would expect. Over here an electric burner and it is a four top burner, extractor fan right over here, all of it is Grindig. Beautiful prep sink made out of that same black material. Now this material is very special in that it does not get scratched, dented or nicked by the cutlery or any crockery you put in here. So I really like that this is included as really top notch material and one that you do want in a home that you're going to stay and live in for nearly 20 years. Again, stunning faucets over here. And then coming backwards, we've got space for microwave underneath. You've got your oven right over there. And then this is where you can fit another double door fridge. So all of you people that like to stock up, buy groceries once a month, you sorted. This kind of penthouse will take care of all of that. So before we run into the bedrooms, I was going to show you the balcony, but that balcony does go into the master suite, the creme de la creme. So let's leave that for last. We'll traverse the balcony, take a look at that stunning hedge wall that you see is installed there. Really love the privacy it gives you. And then we're gonna go into the creme de la creme. So let's start out with the smallest bedroom. But before we do that, let me talk about this mirrored wall here. Gives you so much extra feeling of space in the apartment. And if you open it up, you will see there is storage behind it. So it is a functional piece of decoration. I really like that it was included. And you can always just sit here and if you're not me, admire yourself. But if you are me, we're gonna go into this bedroom here. It's the smallest of the three bedrooms, but not small by any means. Let's take a look at it. And then we're back out here. And here it is, the first bedroom of the three we're gonna be looking at. I want you to see where you're gonna be sitting, relaxing, and spending your evenings. A double bed fits in here really simply. I loved the raised dais they've put it on that doubles as a headboard. It is really cool. Just above that, again, another stunning wallpaper. The decoration in this home is none other than top notch. And as you can see here, the cupboard space without those handles looks so free flowing, really elegant. I love how it's been done. Again, all of it is touched open. You just press it. Pops right open, closes nice and softly. No banging windows or banging doors here because the windows are also all on hinges, again, with that beautiful UV filtering through it. Then, it's time to talk about the ensuite bathroom. So every single bedroom in this house, all three of them come with their own bathroom. This is the first one, let's take a look. Your ensuite bathroom contains a lot of elements we saw within the guest bathroom, and that is your floating toilet. Again, the hidden system built into the wall. You've got your single vanity, beautiful mirror above it, under counter storage below it. And then for this bathroom specifically, you've got a glass framed shower with a rainfall shower head. Now coming across the passage where you find yourself within the second bedroom of the three and the second one located on this side of the house. This one just a little bit bigger than the first one we looked at again with its very own ensuite bathroom. Some really cool features about this bedroom specifically is one, that bulkhead ceiling there with some down lighting that then highlights your two side tables, so really cool design element. In front of me, you've got again a huge selection of cupboards and wardrobes there, all of them without handles. It is that really cool push to open. Right over here is all the connections you'd need if you'd want to mount a TV to the wall. So that's already built in and ready for you. And then behind it, we've got another unique textured wallpaper, adding in a little bit of flair and warmth to this room. Behind, well, underneath us, should I say, not behind us. We've got more of those stunning tiles. And just right here is your ensuite bathroom. Let's take a look at it. Now this second ensuite bathroom contains everything the first ensuite bathroom does. However, it's thrown in a freestanding, beautifully deep 
bathtub, you've got again that glass rimmed shower that you can walk and enjoy that rainfall shower head, your single vanity, under counter storage, large mirror above it, as well as frosted glass hinged windows that open up outside. And coming out of that bedroom, it's now time to show you the master suite, the creme de la creme, the one and only. So walking through the kitchen, through the dining room, here you are. This is exactly where all the memories are going to be made. This is the master suite of a three bedroom, three and a half bathroom, penthouse, one of three in the Lombardi Broad Acres. Here it is, huge, spacious, open area, plenty of down lighting, another repeat of that really cool bulkhead ceiling that illuminates the two vanities on both sides of your bed. You can see this bed is dwarfed by the space wind, which is so, so rare when it comes to penthouse suites. Again, specifically when we talk this price point on my left hand side, so much cupboard space, wardrobe space, all of it again, touched open. I love mentioning that because it's so nice to have a clean, open space behind you. In front of me, we've got a TV mounted to the wall. All the connections are there. So if you are big entertainment and you want a TV in your bedroom, it's there, no drilling, no mounting required. On my right hand side, access to the balcony area, an area we've yet to visit and we're going there next. But first, behind me, the master suite bathroom. Let's take a look at that. Let's then head out to the balcony, take a look at the view and talk about what it would take if you want to live in here next. Now, heading into your master bathroom, you'll see on the right hand side, a linen closet there in case you do need that extra storage. But here it is, the master bathroom, huge piece of glass on your right hand side as soon as you walk in. And that there is splitting your real life walk-in shower from the rest of the bathroom. You've got your floating toilet, hidden system, single vanity, massive piece of marble there doubling as a countertop. Above it, your mirror, and below it, some under counter storage. But now, it is time to take a look at that balcony. And here it is, your very own outside area, penthouse suite, stunning view of the Lombardi. Now, there's a couple of things I'd like to talk about while we're on this balcony. One, as you can see, with the tint, that tint that protects your inside, from too much sunlight also provides you a lot of privacy. You can see it's almost blacked out, but inside a lot of light is still coming through. That's one thing I'd like to talk about. The other thing is this, I'd say privacy hedge that's been fitted to the railings. As someone who's lived in a penthouse before, I love that this affords you so much privacy. You can sit down here and nobody can see through the slats. This hedge was provided exclusively for this video by Distinctive Spaces. So if you're looking to do something like this in your home, in your penthouse, on your railings, give them a shout, search them on Facebook. You can then ask for a quote. But now it's time to talk about the Lombardi itself. Now this is I'd say probably a groundbreaking development right here in Broadacres. A mosque is going to be built inside this development and it will be the first mosque that's ever been built in this note so if you're looking to be a part of history the Lombardi is definitely a place you're going to be want to consider purchasing in so if you'd like to be part of history let's talk pricing for living in the Lombardi this home is going for 2,395,000 rand so I'd jump on it as quickly as possible because penthouse suites definitely do not go for prices such as that and the other catch or should I say the cherry on top, not really the catch, the cherry on top is that there is no transfer duty applicable to any home in the Lombardi, even this one right here. So do keep that in mind. And should you like to buy this home, what I'd like you to do is contact Ridwan Kasim from Realtor. All of his details are on screen right now. You should see it appearing here as well as in the description of the video. But from myself, Chad Viveros, the team at Private Property and everybody at the Home Shopper Show, thank you so much for tuning in once again for another episode of the Home Shopper Show. And guys, if you're looking for property, don't forget regardless of whether it's a penthouse suite or a garden apartment or home with a pool or home with a cottage all of the properties in your area throughout the whole of South Africa are located on www.privateproperty.co.za this is a website you need to go to if you're looking to move homes if you're looking to rent or buy and on that note thank you so much for tuning in and we'll see you again soon ah, goodbye